Hello and welcome to London Car Alarm Company. Today we've just done a really, really lovely Mercedes AMG GTS 2015 with only 13,000 miles on the clock. On here we fitted a Starline Pro. So how the system works is someone wants to grab this key, jump in and try and start, put their foot on the brake. It just won't start, okay? Just won't start, okay? Won't start, okay? So every time the customer jumps in the vehicle, main ignition on, Insert his push seeks on here. We've done something very basic just for video purposes. So one, two, three, receive our melody. There you go, foot on the brake, start the vehicle. Really simple, really, really straightforward. Okay, if the customer wants to change the code, this is also very, very simple. And the way they would do that is turn the start button on to main ignition. Insert the original code, so one, two, three, receive our melody. Then hit one of the buttons on the network five times. So one, two, three, four, five. Start button off, pause, and then back on, we get five bleeps. So here I'm gonna just do something very basic. So wait for a double bleep. There you go, it's confirmed and repeat the code again. So basically, if the first push sequence is the same as the second, we get a double bleep. If it's incorrect, we get a grunt. There you go, code has now been learned. So if I wait 10 seconds, wait for it to sit. You'll see I won't be able to start it, and we'll try the new code. I think that should be about 10 seconds. Foot on the brake, try and start it. Won't start, okay? Really simple, really straightforward. So main ignition on, insert the new code. Receive our melody. There you go, foot on the brake, start the vehicle. Really simple. Okay, if the customer wants to take it for a car wash or take it for a service and doesn't want to disclose the code, this is also very, very simple. And the way the customer would do it is main ignition on, insert the code, disarms and hit one of the buttons on the network 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Cycle the start button off, pause and back on and we get two bleeps. There you go, it's now in valid mode. So if I turn the ignition off, leave it for 10 seconds, let it set, you'll see I'll be able to start it without having to put the push sequence in. Should be about 10 seconds, so main ignition on, foot on the brake, vehicle starts, okay? Finally, once he gets the vehicle back, just to take it out of valid mode, main ignition on, insert his code and we'll get two bleeps and it'll come out. There you go, two bleeps will come out. If I turn the start button off, Give it about 10 seconds, you'll see the system will be armed and obviously it'll be immobilized. So you won't be able to start it without the push sequence. There you go, can't start it, okay? Foot on the brake, won't start, okay? So now main ignition on, insert the code. Systems disarm, start the vehicle, okay? Basically now, obviously if the customer's to forget the code, it comes with a card and on the back of it there's an override code. Um, all you need to do is give us a call and we'll tell you how to disarm it and reteach it, new push sequence. And also you can pair it to a, a phone so you can basically disarm it without having to go through a push sequence. As I said, my name's Otto, company's called London Car Alarm Company. If you want to get one of these fitted, the number to me is 0289060478, 0289060478. Also we fit a Scorpion S5 on it also. Thank you, bye bye.